Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And as you can see, we have our big boy wheels, and I built a bot that is carrying my entire base. Now what I did is I actually put my base down the middle, uh, and as you can see I got the collectors over here, the tractor pads, that will pick up the resources and they will dump them almost instantly uh, to sell on the delivery can. And I can move these around and I could put uh, my uh, fuel resources, the uh, slot refinery to refine them a little bit more, or I can put these right here which actually create uh, energy to my batteries. And I believe I have four or five batteries stuffed under there and I have quite a few shields and repair bots. Actually, I think I only have one shield. I have quite a few uh, uh, repair bubbles, though. So, basically, if you set this up right, you can have your entire base within the inner workings of your bot. Now, these wheels are dramatically slower than the uh, wheels that we were using before. That bot was <laughs> wicked fast. I actually endure enjoyed that bot quite a bit. I hated to see him go, but if you're going to upgrade, if you're going to have a chance at fighting other bots, uh, you're going to need to have bigger ones. And as you can see, I even put, uh, <laughs> this is the first time we've actually had a space underneath so that we can put uh, weapons down there. So that's kind of cool. Also, if you look a little bit further in the back, you will see the hover pads. Uh, I actually showed you guys this on the last episode that I went to go get them. I put them on the bot, and it does actually seem to make quite a bit of a difference. I don't know if that's just my imagination, but I can feel a difference in the way the, the bot moves and how fast the bot moves. I also ended up taking quite a few of my uh, my multi-seeker AI modules and a whole bunch of my main capsules. Just in case somewhere in here one of my capsules gets destroyed, my entire bot isn't gone. There's like five or six of them in here. So they would have to completely annihilate this bot from head to toe before they got every single one of them. Now you'll see that it's not exactly how I would want to have this. Uh, you'll you can tell that there's not quite as many weapons as I would prefer. I want this entire side cover in weapons. There's still more I could put over here in the front. Uh, in fact, I would prefer the front to have these weapons here, uh, these Venture Hailfire rifles, because what I've noticed so far is that, and I'm getting a little bit of lag because I'm still close to where my base is. Hopefully that will clear up here. And we'll go ahead and chop some of these trees down while I talk to you. But we'll notice that the little smaller bots, <laughs> I have a hard time hitting them because they're so low to the ground. And, and you can see right there, now it's charging up my shields. <laughs> wow, this lag is something else. I don't know if we just reached the max of what, uh, of what this can handle or what my computer can handle. Maybe it's my computer, I don't know. But let's see if we can get a little further away and see if it clears up, because this is just redunculous, man. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't know if we can play like this. Come on, clear up already. Jesus. There it goes. Clearing up a little bit more. And this setup right here is actually pretty cool. I like it because it allows you to harvest on the go. You know, if you come out here in the desert and you see some rocks, you see something that interest you that you're not quite sure what it is you've never seen it before uh, you can just go ahead and harvest it you can even have it go through uh, your your little relay pads and uh, see what your thing will make out of it so you can discover new items like that now I haven't done that yet mainly for the fact that you only have two bases to take over when the game first starts and the second base had the piece that I needed to actually make items it got destroyed before I could go back and pick it up. And so I'd never had that item. And they don't have anything in this game uh, that will allow you to make that item up because it's the, it's the exact item that you need to create items. And so if you lose that or you never got it in the first place, I haven't found, maybe you guys know, but I haven't found another way to get that. They only give it to you once. And you can't buy it unless you found it. And I've found it, but I never picked it up, which means it didn't register, and so therefore I can't buy another one. And since I can't make anything, I can't make another one. And so it's kind of like if your base is destroyed, you're kind of just left in the cold, and there's not much you can do. It's almost game over. I'm hoping they fix that, because you would think at some point you would want to be able to call, like, the mothership or something, because the whole story is, like, you're mining these planets, and you're going to be able to go from one planet to the next and get different resources from each one. So I'm hoping at some point they allow you to, you know, like call the mothership and say, hey, uh, I need a couple more of these parts. 
that I obviously can't make on my own or I'm willing to pay extra money for it. They already have something like that that you can buy from like the Payload Studios. Uh, you go in there and you click on it and you can buy blocks. I've shown you that guys before. But they only allow you to buy things you've discovered. And oh, holy crap, is that a pot up there? I think it is. And we're going to take him on. But I kind of wish that there would be a few items, like the, the necessary items that you can buy constantly no matter what. And it would actually be kind of nice if those items were free. Because if you don't have any cash on you, if you used all of it... See, I can't hit this guy because he's so low to the ground. Come on, kill him. Now those, those Venture Fire Rifles, they allow you to uh, shoot <laughs> the enemy at an angle. And they actually track the enemy quite well. Uh, see, you can see he is so much slower. Holy crap. We are doing some serious damage there. Come on, kill him. If I can get my back, there we go. So let's see, is there any weapons? He actually had... Oh, see, the bots are getting stronger. Look at that. He had some uh, some base parts on him. Oh, and some mortars as well. We're definitely taking the mortars. We don't have very many of those at all. So he had some of those, uh, nothing I really need other than weapons, but I don't see any weapons on this guy. Oh, there, there's one right over there in the back. Oh, he had a battery. Well, we'll take the battery. Let's put this weapon up here. Let's take this battery right here. Come on, die. Boom. <laughs> the guy didn't stand a chance. Holy crap. Okay, so let's put the battery on. It's not going to be healed up because, again, we don't have any energy. I could have stayed there and, you know, destroyed some trees, but you guys saw exactly how much lag I was getting. It's, it's uh, I don't know what's wrong with that area over there. I think there's just too many. Some people have said if you leave the resources on the ground, you don't mine them. You just kind of shoot the trees. Uh, they stay there for quite some time, and they eat up part of the game's RAM and stuff like that. So maybe that's what it was. Maybe I just left too many things on the ground one too many times. Like, all this stuff right here that I just left. Whoa, 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 whoa. What in the world? My battery's floating in the sky. I, I know I put that on my bot. Wait, wait, wait. What's happening to my bot over here? What? I hope that's a bug because I just lost. Did I lose it or did it go down? I don't understand. One of my blocks literally went down. But I still have... I still have guns on it. No, undo. Let, let me get out of this being on my butt and see if I can pick it up. If that maybe fixes it. No, okay, so it's just a glitch. It's actually on my bot right now, and it's just uh, wigging out for some reason. That's kind of a weird glitch. I've never seen that before. Let's kill this guy. Can we kill him? No, he is too low. Oh, my God, we're going to have to back up a little bit. Actually... Since he is so low, I am going to attack him from behind. Because I actually have quite a few weapons a little bit lower just for that reason. And you can see they're actually hitting the ground. There we go. Die! <laughs> that, that has definitely got to be a new uh, attack strategy right there to actually use the back of your bot <laughs> as the uh, the attack point. And I actually, uh, I, I thought about it, and I'm like, you know, they always go for your main uh, part. So I went ahead and I put, like, two or three of the main parts back here, so that would be a more of a, uh, a target for them. And then, then I put all my weapons in the back. Just because I thought it would be kind of interesting. You know, I always run at the enemies going face forward, and if they have to run around me, that gives me a couple seconds that they are getting hit from all sides if I'm shooting out uh, in every direction, which this is exactly what this bot does. Ooh, nice trees and a new section of the map that we have not seen before. Now, these maps are supposed to go on and on and on forever. Uh, I don't know if that's true. It seems like it would be incredibly hard for for it to continually generate. Maybe it can. I don't know. I don't know that much about programming, but it seems like you wouldn't really want to have an infinite size map, but that's kind of a cool concept that if you have a mobile base like this, you could just get up and go one day, and when you get to the next location and say this spot is way too slow for you, too bulky, you want to go off and experiment, you want to create a, a real fast-moving, you know, agile bot like we did a minute ago. Holy crap. That's that stuff getting stuck underneath my, my base again. But yeah, if you wanted to do that, you could always, you know, park this guy as your base and then come back to him. 
you know, and deliver resources to them or do whatever you're, you normally do with your base. <laughs> it's all stuck underneath me right now. Let me see how many how many resources are under there. Yeah, quite a few. And mixed in with that and the uh, the hover pads, it does do some some funky stuff sometimes. <laughs> oh my god! Woo, nice. Now, if only I can get it to fly like that in combat, we might have a thing going on there. Now, I want to get some of these resources before it starts lagging out over here. I don't want to leave too many of them behind. Plus, I need the power. You know, I, I have like eight batteries or six batteries. I forgot how many batteries. I got tons of batteries because I went ahead. Holy crap, guys. I went ahead and got extras because, you know, that's really the only deterrent from going out into the desert and just exploring is how long your, your batteries last. Because once they stop, you can't repair. And it really... <laughs> no! I'm going to flip over. Oh, my God. Holy crap. The, the game does not know how... I wish maybe they could they could create some kind of coding for these items that we pick up. Oh, this is going to tip me over. I'm not touching the keyboards at the moment, guys. This is going to tip me over. It's like three pieces of wood <laughs> that is lifting up this bot that weighs like a thousand pounds. Uh, it's a little bit more than three pieces, but still, that's ridiculous. Let me go into build mode and see if I can get that stuff out. Now, build mode is kind of nice in the respect that your bot won't keep being knocked all over the place, but it is kind of difficult to get in here because there's just so many things in the way. I don't think I'm going to be able to get to that. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to see if I can run it out. Maybe if I can go over a cliff or a hill. No, preferably not a cliff. <laughs> I don't want to knock this guy off into oblivion after all the work that I put into it. He just doesn't pick up enough speed. Like I was going to do, I was going to pop a willy or something, but maybe the next time it tries to flip me over, I'll just let it flip me over and get those resources out of the way. But we're going to keep getting some wood here because we have a lot of power. And about 90% of the wood that we pick up is actually going just to be sold. And again, I can I can mess around with that. There we go. It's happening again. <laughs> this is crazy. Oh, my God. The whole vehicle. The whole vehicle in, in the front, too. Oh, we are flying. We had the first flying bot, guys. Oh, but that's, you know, I guess you could just call the hover ones flying bots as well, but... This does not have enough hover pads to be able to be doing that, and it's doing it regardless, so it's kind of interesting. I like that. I like this new setup. This is, uh, <laughs> this is kind of cool. It's actually kind of exciting, too, to know that we are ready to go off and explore. Now, they did come out with another patch, and I am basically like two patches behind. I'm thinking that, one, I will either download the new patch and continue playing this game, or two, do what I normally do, which is start the game over, because you, I like to see all the changes, and some of them are very, very hard to notice unless you start over, because it's some of the stuff that happens at the beginning. Here we go. Come on, flip me over. I want all that stuff out of there before I, look, I move on, because that's really going to affect me during combat. Although that could be kind of cool if it did that, because then my weapons would shoot down a little bit more than they are. Ooh, look at all these rocks. I don't know what this red one is. It's kind of interesting. We've seen it a couple of times, but I don't know what it's used for. I wish I could get into crafting. That's one of the... Oh, here we go. Here we go. Flip me over. Dang it. Almost. If it wasn't for that heal, it probably would do it. Now, that's another reason I kind of want to start over, is because I am missing that piece. Holy crap, there's so many resources here. <laughs> <laughs> can't even move forward. They won't let me move. There we go. Come on, pick up some of those. There, flip us over. Uh, if I hadn't shot that tree, maybe it would have flipped us. This is ridiculous. I hope they fix this in the next couple patches, because if these items could just go through your bot, I know it would be a little unrealistic, but it definitely would help with them getting caught from underneath. Maybe they want to keep that. Maybe they like that realism of trying to pick stuff up and make sure that your bot oh my god did I get stuck I got stuck with my base bot seriously even oh there we go well that stuff did come in handy so you shouldn't complain too much about it <laughs> it got me out of the crater which I stupidly walked right into or drove right into should have known better than that and then I did it again okay this hill is definitely too high for us so we are not going that direction if I can get out of here and the thing that's catching me up is actually my weapons underneath my bot. And the only reason that's happening is, as you can tell, the two back wheels are smaller than the rest of them. And that happened 
because why I was going out to get those hover pads that I showed you guys on the last video. A, a, uh, what do you call those, uh, invader spawn. And he was pretty big. He was really, really pathetic, but he was really big. And what I did is I brought him back to my base where I had that entire wall of guns. And, uh, he just sat there in front of it and completely and totally got annihilated, which was kind of funny to see. I wish I could have been able to record it. But if you think the lag here was bad, uh, you have no idea what it was like to watch that fight. Anytime the invaders show up, the lag triples, quadruples. I mean, it is... I don't know what the problem is with that. I guess it's because so many new blocks are appearing on the, the screen at one time that immediately after he died and his blocks went flying everywhere, the lag was gone. Instantly gone. So, I don't know how why that's being caused that way. Maybe they know about that issue. Maybe they don't. Dang it. Can I get over this? Man, I wish I had some boosters. This would definitely be a lot easier with some booster rockets. Although, every time I get those, I seem to lose them. They seem to get destroyed. They're so easily destroyed because they're just explosives. <laughs> well, guys, I think we are going to go ahead and end the episode here. Again, this is my base spot right here. I have a shield unit on the front, and I have tons and tons of weapons. Is it where I want it? No, not close to where I would prefer to have it. I would actually, if I had enough blocks, go back and make the yellow ones three wide and maybe even make them go up a little bit more. And I would have more of these big wheels and none of these little small ones. But I went ahead and just tried it out. And again, I think what we're going to do on the next episode is just download the new update and start over because I kind of want to really experiment with creating my own blocks. And I, I didn't get to do that on this playthrough, which which really sucks. Uh, but I will save this game so I can come back to it. And we can play around a little bit. Uh, maybe at some point, if they do another update and fix a lot of these issues that we were having, uh, I can load in and we already be set here at a good point and continue on from there. Uh, I think that will be uh, a pretty cool thing because I've never done a base bot before and I don't really want to lose this save game. So again, guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you like these episodes, please uh, hit that like button, subscribe definitely helps grow my channel and I greatly appreciate it. Also, if you have any comments, I would love to hear what you think of this bot. What Do you have a name for it besides, uh, you know, Junker? Because it, it definitely does look pretty rough around the edges. It needs it needs a facelift. It needs some really cool parts. Maybe some of those uh, uh, racing parts where you can put like the little uh, edges on there so it slopes down and, and creates this nice little cool look or something like that and it definitely needs some boosters if you're going to create a base bot guys uh, spring for the boosters if you have the the ability to buy those I wish I had I uh, preferably the big boosters and I would put them right down the center so that they're protected the only downside to that is if they explode good luck on your base it's probably all going to be gone uh, so maybe on the outsides would be a better bet uh, for damage wise, but they're gonna be exposed. So we'll just have to play around with that when we finally get that stuff But again guys, I want to thank you and I'll catch you next time